All right, drone video uh, for a huge tract at the Jesse James Project. We love, 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 love these big properties. Um, track two, we're taking off from an open meadow uh, on the property toward the southwest side. And this video appears to be eight minutes, so we're going to see uh, probably a pretty good chunk of the property. Uh, a track like this, uh, even, even with the drone video, it's tough to see everything. Um, in fact, this is a good example. There's a creek off to the left of the meadow there. Uh, this tract is a good example. We did the drone video. Um, the guys were headed back, and they found a, a big freshwater spring right on the property. Had no idea it was there, even though we did the drone video, even though they've been out there a few times. It's just, on a track this size, you, you can't see everything <laughs> within a couple hours. I mean, it, it would take a few days to, to really walk this property. So we're looking northerly. Um, from the meadow area where we launched, the property rises up, back down. You can see the, the valley uh, in the background there. That's actually Mill Creek. There's the meadow area on the lower left part of the screen with the side-by-side -side park there. So if you look north from there, uh, again, rises up, back down to Mill Creek, rises up again, off to the right. There's another, I mean, you've got level areas, steep areas, everything in between. You've got creeks, you've got the spring, uh, trails all over the place. It's an awesome property. The wildlife out here is incredible. Uh, we've seen deer basically every single time we've been out here. Uh, we've heard turkeys basically every single time. We've seen turkeys a few times, but they're, they're tougher to see. You kind of have to happen upon turkeys where, where deer just seem to pop out of everywhere. Obviously this is a winter time video so no leaves on the trees. Great time of year to, to do a drone video because you can see there hasn't been any recent logging uh, on this property. Uh, everything looks good. In the spring, in the summer when the leaves are out, um, a property might have been recently logged or, or it might not. You just really won't know um, because those leaves just turn everything into a, a sea of greenery. Now we're looking down on Mill Creek, which basically crosses right through the property. It's running really nicely in that spot. Um, there was a spot further toward the north side of the property where uh, it just had pools of water. It, it's, a, it's a typical Ozark Creek in that it, it, uh, it'll run in spots. Sometimes it apparently the water goes underground and then pops back up, I'm not sure. As far as being year-round, we have no idea. Best to assume that, that no creeks or springs are, are year-round because um, you just never know in the Ozarks. So as we fly northerly over Mill Creek, you can see a large grove of cedar trees. I think we did a ground video where we kind of checked out that grove a little bit. This is mostly hardwood trees, red oaks, white oaks, hickories. Uh, obviously you do have that nice big cedar grove with a, a lot of mature cedar in there. With the easement road system at uh, the Jesse James Project, you have access uh, into the property from several different spots, which is really nice. As we look northerly, you can see that, that pasture that's uh, on a property to the north, but this track does go right up basically to the fence line at that pasture. Looks like some kind of trail there on the north part of this property. Hunting, awesome. Recreation, awesome. Um, as we look to the right now, there's a trail that cuts southerly. So if you see that power line easement off to the left, um, there's a, a trail there that's one of the access points that'll take you into the northeast part of the property. Take that power line easement and take the road um, to the west off of that and it'll bring you into this spot right here. As we look southerly you can see that trail that, that is cutting into the property. Um, large level area with, whoop, we moved around a little bit. We're just checking out the, whoa! That was cool, that was a, a vulture. There he goes, off to the right. They usually don't bother the drones, but they do get curious sometimes. Okay, so uh, Large level area right there on the property. That's toward the northeast part of the property. I mean, the hunting, the camping. Um, the property obviously is buildable. Basically, everything we sell is buildable. 
Uh, but you do want to keep in mind that the easement road system is for side-by-sides and four-wheelers. It is not designed even for pickup trucks and SUVs with four-wheel drive. It's just more of a trail system. So now we're, we're on the property, on the northeast part of the property, looking northerly. That pasture you see is a neighboring property that's not part of this tract. And we're drifting southerly, maybe a little bit southwesterly. Extremely private out here. Um, you do have the access with the easement roads. There's also quite a few trails on this property that, that are just your trails that aren't part of the easement road system. We explored just a small portion of the property when we were out here. Now we're checking out uh, Mill Creek again. Those whitish looking trees you see right in the center, those are going to be sycamore trees, big mature sycamores. They tend to grow by water, so you'll see them in the Ozarks um, predominantly by creeks. Beautiful trees. The upper part of the bark uh, annually, I guess, flakes off and it leaves that white uh, part of the tree exposed, so they're, they're really striking. Pretty, pretty unique to find a, a large tract this private and still only, you know, 20 miles from Rolla, a couple hours from St. Louis. Uh, the little town of Dixon, Missouri is about three miles to the northwest. Um, so you do have amenities in the area. It feels like you're five hours <laughs> from, from nowhere, but you're really not. Pretty cool. And, and of course, the side by side is parked on that meadow where we, where we launched the drone. And that is on the property uh, toward the southwest side of the property. That creek you see to the left of the meadow, I don't think that's Mill Creek. I think that runs into Mill Creek on the property. Um, we're looking easterly. And actually, as we look easterly, you can see that smaller meadow in the distance. On the south side of that meadow is where those guys found that big spring that, that came right out of the ground and was feeding into uh, Mill Creek. So that's pretty cool. I think we have that on video, actually. Gorgeous tract. I mean, this is kind of kind of what everybody wants as far as when we talk to the hunters, to the, the recreation people, to the, to the campers, the outdoorsmen, outdoors women as well. Um, something big, something where they can do a private site, uh, something with timber that hasn't been recently logged and isn't going to look like whatever for years to come. I mean, this, this property looks good in the winter. It's going to look stunning in the spring, in the summer, in the fall. Uh, oh, there we go. So um, that's it for the video, but uh, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. If this property is available, we, we would love to talk to you about it. If it's not, uh, we can let you know what is available and what's coming up, and we hope to hear from you.